Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Hamid Karki. I'm an associate professor uh, in the mechanical engineering department. Generally, rough terrains are full of geographical obstacles, making it extremely difficult for a conventional legged robot to maneuver through. This problem becomes severe as the size and the weight becomes bigger. We are developing a hexapod robot or sometimes called six-legged robot that is capable of walking and stepping on uneven terrain with a multi-directional moving capability. This proposed combination method is done to guarantee the stability of the robot and increase its flexibility during rotation and zigzagging through harsh terrain. Hello, I am Vishnu Badran. I work as a research associate at the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Khalifa University. I am part of the platform and system integration of uh, the Hexapod robot. As the name suggests, it has six legs and each leg has three electrical actuators. Each actuator weighs about 70 kgs and for an arm alone, uh, it weighs approximately around 400 kilograms. Every actuators are controlled using its own motor drivers. These drivers are directly connected to a PLC. Our team have already uh, designed the locomotion of the robot in MATLAB uh, simulation platform. Currently, this project is still in the initial development stage and we have some more uh, mechanical engineering and control tasks to make the arm movement for the smooth functionality. My name is Hamdan Abdulhani. I'm part of the National Service and Akhba program. I focus mainly on the food assembly of the Hexabot robot. I decided to withstand the weight of the robot while standing and walking. The heel design enables the robot to walk on rough terrains and tilted surfaces. The Hexapod robot is designed smartly by integrating existing designs and technologies to achieve an agile structure and effective maneuverability. Robots with this size are usually powered by hydraulic actuators. However, this robot is electrically powered, which makes it quieter, cleaner and also power efficient.